Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you all how you can do a scrolling window capture inside of Windows. So the tool we're going to be using for this is called ShareX. I'll show you where you can get it later. But for the time being, if you have it installed and you open it up, then you'll be able to find the ShareX icon in your notification area. That's the bottom right. So we can right click on it and go to Capture. And inside of Capture, we have Scrolling Capture. So when scrolling capture is opened up, you'll need to select a window that you want to do the scrolling capture on. So we can target Google on the web browser right here by clicking on the browser area. Uh, let's leave it there for now because we actually need to have something to do a scrolling capture. So let's go ahead and search for ShareX in Google. So the first result here is getsharex.com. As you can see, this is where you can download it. So we have that there. Now, in order to do a scrolling window capture, the window that you're going to target needs to have a scroll bar, obviously, something to scroll down for. So we could capture it on this Google window. Let's go back here to the scrolling capture interface. We already did target this main window, but just in case we want to select it again, let's do select window or control to scroll. So we'll just target this center area again. If you prefer, you can actually do a custom region. So if you don't want to capture the whole window, what you could do is do select by region and then target, let's say this area, which we know on Google, if we scroll down is actually going to change and show all of the search results. So up to you whether you want to do the whole window or just a region. I think in most cases, though, you'd probably just go with the whole window. It's easier. So let's go ahead and target this whole window here. Now, one thing to note when you do your capture is that it's only going to be able to capture the regions which you can actually see on the screen. So if your web browser is shrunk like this, you can't see the right side of the screen. Uh, you might need to actually maximize it before you can get that information captured. So if we maximize this screen, we'll be able to see everything and that's going to give us a better result. So one more time, let's just select the window or control to scroll. You can see it's going to be targeting the whole window now and everything is showing. So that's going to be good. So select that left click. And at this point, we can hit start scrolling capture. So when you do this, ShareX is actually going to automatically scroll to the bottom of the page for you. Uh, this just makes it easier on you. Let's go ahead and maximize this capture now. So we can see the output here and we can actually scroll down on it. You can see that ShareX actually does a really good job of capturing multiple images and sticking them together. You can see that it does that with multiple images with the image count there at the top. Now in cases like this where ShareX has just captured everything perfectly, we don't need to do anything else. But if for any reason you need to adjust the automatically decided settings, then you do have controls for doing that over here. But in this case, we can just go ahead and upload or save. But at this point, we already have a good capture. So we can just click on upload, save, depending on after capture settings. So let's go ahead and do that. Now we have this image. You can see the location it's stored to. If we left click on it, it's going to go ahead and open it up with a program of our choice. So we can just use Windows 10 Photos. And here is our final result. Since this is a scrolling window capture, it may be a little much to look at at one time. So you can always use the zoom in tool to look at it a little bit more closely. And then you can hold shift and middle mouse button to pan it from top to bottom and just take another look at your image. Now, if you want the image to be uploaded to the internet after your capture automatically, you can go into the ShareX settings. So if you go down to destinations, you'll see image uploaded here. So you can choose a website that you want to be uploading it to, ImageGur by default. And if you go into after capture tasks, you can choose upload image to host. So that's going to automatically upload it to the website, in this case, ImageGur, and I believe that's anonymous by default. So let's go ahead and check that. And you'll notice an after upload tasks, copy URL to clipboard is set there by default. So after it uploads to the website, it's gonna give us the URL and then we can just go check it out. So let's close this original image. And then we'll go back to the website, get share X, which of course is where you can download it for windows. And then let's run the scrolling capture one more time. So I'm going to right click here, go to capture scrolling capture. We're going to target this region with a left click, start scrolling capture. Then we'll just let it automatically scroll to the bottom of the page. Now, all we need to do is verify that the image is captured nicely, which it is. So we can go ahead and upload based on our after capture settings. So let's go ahead and do that. So now if we hover over it this time, we can see that it has a image GUR URL. Let's go ahead and left click on it here. And we can see the image uploaded to the internet automatically for us. So now we could just copy this wherever we need it, or we can right click and download it. Of course, since we still have it saving to the computer, we can right click on ShareX, go to screenshots folder, and we can see the copy that was saved to our hard drive. So 
same as the one that's uploaded to the internet. Obviously, the tool is pretty flexible, so Sherex is pretty nice. Obviously, since you can queue up many different tasks after capture and after upload, it's going to be quite flexible on exactly what you want Sherex to do. But that's the basics of how you can do a scrolling window capture on Windows 10. So if that is a task you were looking to do, I hope this video has helped you guys out. I've been Chris. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my future video content.